So dear Doctor, Doctor Rowan Williams. And then we'll put our questions on. We've got Sikhism. Sikhism. Hinduism. Hinduism. You're, yeah, you've got Judaism. Things Earthquakes, like volcanoes, volcanoes, tsunamis, um, and where then doesn't he stop them? Hello Dr Williams, my name's Sasha and my name's Zach. We're asking a question of did evolution really happen or did God create man as Adam and Eve? We well, are asking these questions because there are, there are many theories um, surrounding how we started out. We're also asking did Adam and Eve really exist? Also, how did Cain and Abel reproduce? I don't think the Bible's meant to tell us exactly what happened thousands of years ago. It's meant to tell us how we got, generally speaking, to where we are now. So, if you think, what are the problems we as human beings face? Well, one of them is how do we cope with temptations to do the wrong thing? What are the effects of our choices? Do our choices make life really difficult for ourselves and others? So here's a story about a man and a woman, right at the beginning of everything, faced with some difficult choices and they make the wrong ones and it has a terrible effect on absolutely everybody forever afterwards. That's what the story is meant to get home to us. And the question then is not so much, well, you know, would we find a little grave in the Middle East marked Adam and Eve, loving, loving husband and wife for so many years? I doubt whether we would. But we can say, right from the very beginning of human beings being human, we've had the same problems, the same temptations, and we make the same sort of mistakes. When we talk about evolution, I think we're talking about all the ways in which the world got to be the way it is physically. It's a wonderfully complicated, wonderfully rich world. We couldn't ever have imagined just how rich it was until we started looking. And that's wonderful. And for me, it doesn't in any way contradict what I believe as a Christian person. Because what I believe as a Christian is that everything that's around me, all those processes of evolution, all the mysterious, abundant life of the world, all of that's there simply because God wants it to be. Hi, I'm John. Hi, I'm Albert. In our community we have a lot of different beliefs. Sikhism, Hinduism, Muslim. All of these people believe in different gods, but how do we know which one's real and which one's myths? One of the biggest changes in my lifetime, I think, has been how much more aware we are of people who've got other faiths and other cultures from our own. And particularly where faiths are concerned, that can be a 